Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I'm of the stars, and I'm gonna. And the wind is blowing greatly here in Arizona on this little little road here, and I'm gonna try and catch a tumbleweed blowing across the road. They've been explosively helter skelter, sometimes in in batches and herds, heading across the road. So we'll see what happens. The wind is actually. It's blowing the car sideways too. I just have a quick uh, surprise present for you today. Uh, this yeah, I'm here on uh, Native American lands. I spent the night here, and, and it's always a refreshing change up to be on Native American lands because, in many ways, they're protected from the uh, thought forms of the of the uh, general population of of. Um, of America, and uh, and uh, so it's good to visit. These are not, this is not a place for me to stay, but it's wonderful sanctuary to find once in a while from a th from the thought forms prevalent in the cities in in the United States. And uh, the winds are very high today, very dry, cold winds, frolicking over the land, and they they're so strong that they. That they send the sagebrush flying and uh, across the road re really fast. Sometimes you have to dodge it if you're in your car, and and also even clods of dirt. Sometimes that was what was happening yesterday. So here I am today, this morning. It's it's actually before dawn, and um, all this morning, all early this morning, it's been most beautiful energies here, and I have this gift. Right, this gift for you. Um, there are some energies circling around the earth today, seeking release. I think during the ascension process, and these are energies of um, power over, and uh, it it has to do with the notion that a person is like God, you know, and that everybody else is just a part of that person, and that that one person has a power over all the other people who aren't really people, right? This notion of, I'm it, you know? And and also this notion of black magic. And these things have to do with restriction of the dimensionality of a person. When a person feels like that or aligns with those mental filters, then um, he or she is restricted to the third or fourth dimension and can't uh, like a rise to understanding of the fifth through the seventy second dimensions, so it's a very um, it's a very intensive learning experience when a person believes that they are God and that everybody else is a part of them and not really human. You know that they can do like do whatever they want because this is just their world. As Frank Sinatra used to say, "I had it my way," you know. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing to do when you run across these energies, this is something that I found out today, when I run across these energies on the psychic plane, like trying to make me a part of them, I just say to that, to that person or that energy, I say, if you, if you talk to me, you'll lose your power. Uh, this works like a charm today. I don't know about tomorrow. If you talk to me, you'll lose your power. Say it with self-confidence and without too much emphasis. Okay, More like, um, this is just the way it is. You know? <laughs> so, my gift, my blessing. Have a wonderful day. Oh, there goes some. Um...